Hello everyone. In this video, I will discuss that what is central dogma of molecular biology. So without any delay, let's start the video. So first of all, what is central dogma? So central dogma is just the flow of information in a cell that how information flow within a cell. So here, like this is a cell, a typical cell and this portion is the nucleus where the DNA is present. So according to central dogma, the information will flow from DNA to RNA means first the DNA molecule will be converted into the RNA molecule in order to carry out the information. So the first is the information moves from DNA to RNA and then from this RNA now the information will be moved to proteins or you can say the information will be in the form of proteins. So this is the central dogma where the information or the biological information moves from DNA to RNA and RNA to protein. So this is the central dogma that DNA forms RNA and RNA forms the proteins and these proteins now carry out the different functions. So here the flow of information is from DNA then RNA and protein. Now what are the key processes which are involved in the central dogma? So there are basically three processes are involved. First is the DNA replication, then transcription and the protein translation. So in the DNA replication, the DNA gets, you can say multiplied. It produces identical copies of itself while in the transcription, this DNA is converted into the RNA and while in case of translation, this RNA is converted into the protein. So these three are the key processes that involved in the central dogma. Now there are certain exceptions to this central dogma. First is the reverse transcription. Here the you can say the certain viruses like HIV they can convert this RNA back to DNA. Means as I told in the central dogma the information moves from DNA to RNA but in case of some viruses they follow the reverse transcription that is they can convert RNA to DNA. So these, these are the exceptions. Similarly another exception is RNA replication because certain viruses also have RNA as a genetic material and they replicate their RNA like for example hepatitis C virus. So these two uh, you can say these two processes these are the sir, exceptions to the central dogma. So this is all about the center dogma guys. So that's all for today guys. See you in the next video.